Christians. I'm here with ERLC President Russell Moore. Dr. Moore, when it comes to politics, should Christians be single issue voters? Well, it depends on what you mean by single issue. If what you mean by that is you're only voting on the basis of one issue, then I would say no. What I would say is that a single issue rules out candidates rather than, than necessarily ruling in a candidate. So, uh, for instance, if you're in 19th century uh, America, slavery is the transcendent issue. And so one wouldn't say, well, this candidate is for human slavery, but I agree with him on economic policy or, or trade policy. And in, in our own context, we have issues such as abortion or, uh, or racial justice questions and others that we would say, uh, these are transcendent issues. So if a candidate isn't right on those issues, that candidate is excluded from, uh, from consideration. Because a candidate that, that won't grant personhood to the most vulnerable uh, members of society, whether that's unborn infants or uh, elderly people or diseased people who are in jeopardy, then that's not a candidate you can, you can trust. Now, when you have multiple candidates who all are on the right side of those issues, then you come in and say, well, what are other uh, issues that might not be transcendently important, but are important nonetheless? From certainly a biblical standpoint, Christians could not vote Democratic mm. because there's no way that a Christian can affirm the slaughter of babies, mm. homosexual activity, homosexual marriage, or any kind of gross immorality. No way we could, you know, stand behind a candidate who was affirming transgender behavior, which of course is really the reprobate mind of Romans 1. So I, I said, these things aren't even political for us, uh, sir. I said, these things are biblical. These things are laid down by, by the word of God. And we love God. We desire to honor him. And upholding righteousness in a society is what a church is supposed to do. So I said, any real true believer is going to be on your side in this election because it's not just an individual. It's an entire set of policies. I think a lot of our African-American brothers and sisters realized like a long time ago that, well, there are going to be a bunch of different issues that are going to be affecting us. And I can vote for a candidate who I disagree with about some very important issues that I don't really think they're going to get anything done on. But I agree with them on these other issues that I think are going to help a lot of people. Can Even if you don't adopt that thought yourself, can you allow space for that in your church as a morally legitimate argument and option? Not saying, okay, which one's right, which one's wrong. I'm not even saying they're both on the same exact moral ground, both parties, both candidates. I'm just saying, how do we... What's wrong with you people? I'm serious. I mean, this is what's wrong with the Christian church today. We don't know who God is. And we don't know who we are.